All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design. Build a product landing page user stories number four. So we should be able to see at least three clickable elements inside the nav element, each with the class nav link. All right. So I kind of forgot how to do that. So what we're going to do is take a field trip over to the product landing page example right over here. And then we'll press F12 on the keyboard and bring up the developers section over here. So we're going to go into this body. It's already open for us. Now we've got this div ID. That's why it's blue. It means it's targeted in this thing. So div ID page wrapper. Let's open that up. So we've got the header right here. This is, here's the section, but we're worried about the header where this uh, nav bar is. So let's open that up. So div class logo, we already got that, uh, but we also have this nav ID nav bar. We don't have the class, but you know. Anyway, so what they did was they had this you on uh, this unordered list right here, and then they it also has these list items right here, and then they all have these anchor tags with a class of nav link, and then a ref an href which we'll deal with later, and also this uh, close anchor tag. So let's do that right now. So what we're going to do here is we'll say, uh, hmm, what are we doing? Oh, an unordered list right there. And then a close, pardon me, close unordered list like that. And inside here, we're going to make list items. So we'll say li, whoops, li like that, close li like that. And inside each list item, we'll have an anchor tag. We'll say, oh, excuse me, an anchor element. So we'll have a like this and then close a, all right? And then what we're going to have here is a source. No, nope, let's just go look. Class of nav link right there. So we'll have the class. Class equals equals. Oh, there we go. Equals. That's not it either. <laughs> nav hyphen link like that. And let's put in here for the text. Let's just say section one section one as the filler text right there. All right, so let's uh, take this, these uh, list items like this. Let's copy it like this and put two more down, one, two. Change this one to two, this one to three, just like that. And so we've got something looking like this. Uh, let's open up the console. Got that right there. Let's come down here, run the test. Each nav, li pardon me, each nav link element should have an href. Well, we haven't gotten to that one because that's number five. So now we're at user stories number five and oops, we'll see you next time.